In excessive faculty, Shane Archambo set her attractions at the very pinnacle of the corporate ladder, the function of the executive. It's a formidable intention for everybody, however, for Shane, it turned especially so. As a Hispanic lady born during the civil rights movement, she could need to take care of racial bias, as well as the demanding situations and expectancies of being a working wife and mom. However no matter those boundaries, Shane rose to the higher echelons of tech giant Citigroup. Then, she made her mark in tech startups and has become one among just a handful of Hispanic lady executives in tech. She accomplished all of this at the same time as building her own family and home life she'd continually anticipated for herself, how did she do it? Nicely, Shane becomes raised to agree that humans can create their luck and increase their possibilities of fulfillment, regardless of in which they begin. Through placing goals, strategizing efficiently, and growing the mindset and abilities to take gain of opportunities after they seemed. Shane grew to become her pursuits into fact, and so are you able to. In those chapters, you'll learn the way to handle imposter syndrome, why foregoing a larger piece of the pie may be a terrific aspect, and what to do while people, or matters, stand in your manner. Chapter 1 Don't permit imposter syndrome to maintain you again. Photo of a Hispanic girl coming into the faculty in 1971, in a white community. The US is a country with particularly high levels of racial conflict and her hometown of law has recently witnessed racial violence. That lady changed into Shane Archambo, and the problems gripping the US impacted her in my opinion, too. Adults referred to as her the end phrase in the manner in school, different children confused her, and, in a single instance, classmates physically assaulted her. Even the faculty administration singled Shane out. When she got into the gifted and gifted program, they determined something had gone wrong and asked all people to retake the doorway test. This 2D time around, the simplest Shane failed, such experiences can lead to imposter syndrome, the sensation of now not belonging, or of not deserving fulfillment. And this frequently stops humans from chasing their desires and residing the life they need. Each person, regardless of how smart or bold, can fall sufferer from imposter syndrome. Shane felt it often at some stage in her life. But, thankfully, it could be handled, each time a self-doubting mind pops up, keep in mind that they hold no truth and that some of the maximum successful humans have is warfare imposter syndrome. It additionally facilitates behaving optimistically, no matter the way you feel. That is a trick Shane still makes use of, even after turning into a tech startup's executive. While she feels intimidated, she feigns self-belief and repeats the chant, act like you realize what you're doing, concentrate difficult, and, eventually, you may recognize what you are doing. Even if you have faux confidence till it feels natural, there can be those who believe in you and propose to you. Shane calls those your cheerleaders. And while fighting imposter syndrome, it's important to test in together with your cheerleaders and trust them when they apprehend your well-worth. When Shane felt like an outsider in her neighborhood and school, she observed cheerleaders who helped repair her self-assurance. One such person became a math instructor, Mrs. Beringer. Noticing that Shane had a skill for math and competitive nature, Mrs. Beringer advocated for her to help other college students with their assignments. To identify your cheerleaders, think of folks that continually inspire you. Ask an awesome pal to focus on your worth and abilities whenever necessary. This may assist you to accept as true within yourself, even if it feels as even though the sector around you doesn't. Chapter 2 Decide on your goals and create a method to acquire them. Do you realize that proverbial pie everybody talks approximately? Properly, human beings typically need a bigger piece of it, right? So whilst her mom got the smallest piece of actual pie during her family food, Younger Shane's idea changed into unfair. After all, her mom took care of the circle of relatives' price range and ensured that everyone's desires were met. Plus, she baked the pie in query, but from Shane's mom's attitude, she wasn't in reality sacrificing a larger piece of the pie. She had other dreams in her thoughts. This pie problem taught Shane the importance of putting goals and finally singularly centered on them. Her mom's purpose become to ultimately personalize a horse. 
and with that as her precedence, a larger portion of pie simply didn't matter. What did rely on was the cash she saved with the aid of sewing the family's garments and cooking from scratch. Part of this money later paid for her very very own thoroughbred, Shane was given a danger to set an intention for her personal when it become time to choose a career route. Initially, she wasn't certain what to pursue, however after some prompting from a steerage counselor, Shane shared how a whole lot she loved organizing and main clubs and activities. In the course of this pivotal communication, the guidance counselor cautioned that Shane would possibly revel in going for walks in a business. And so she determined to turn out to be a first-rate government officer or executive. However, settling on a goal wasn't sufficient. Similar to her mother having devised a plan to shop for money for the horse, Shane also needed to plot her manner to that executive role. The first part of the plan become deciding on a college to attend. Knowing that there were only a few Hispanic ladies in the various globals executives, Shane understood that she needed every viable gain. She consequently settled for no much less than the Wharton School of the College of Pennsylvania, the pinnacle-ranked commercial enterprise faculty in the United States at the time. But earlier than heading to campus, Shane made one extra strategic flow. She got a summer season temp activity as a secretary at her father's place of work, the Citigroup Area Engineering Headquarters. Right here, she took gain of the opportunity to talk with the employees and managers around her. Shane obtained precious advice through those conversations, together with the significance of choosing a developing area wherein opportunities are masses. This stimulated Shane to go into the increasing tech industry. Wherein her career and reality began to take off, Chapter 3 Be as strategic about deciding on an existence companion as your approximately your desires. If you've ever watched a romantic comedy, you're familiar with this tale line. Two human beings meet by using threat after which adorably fumble alongside until figuring out they're supposed to each different. But this doesn't simplest appear in the movies, many human beings also discover their partners this way off display screen. For Shane, but, the system changed into slightly special. There was no fumbling alongside when she met her husband, Scotty, in her junior year of college. She knew she wanted to marry younger, and that she needed to discover a person who could support her desires. Growing the percentages of this is known as a deliberate technique to the relationship. Shane's method for selecting an accomplice became to decide the qualities that mattered maximum to her and set up if her prospect shared her vision for the future. She advises anybody in search of a life accomplice to do the same, reflect on consideration of all the features you'd like in an ideal companion, after which whittle this list down to the most crucial ones. For example, Shelley's very last listing covered traits together with self-assurance, self-sufficiency, and a willingness to be a live-at-home dad whilst she pursued her career. If Scotty hadn't possessed those characteristics, it would have intended the cease of his and Shane's courting, happily. Scotty ticked all of the boxes, and just months after they'd met, the pair got engaged. No longer each person around them turned enthusiastic about the news. The 18-year age hole between Shane and Luis worried her circle of relatives. However, Shane treated this by practicing an ability that would serve her again and again during her life and profession, self-willpower. Self-determination is the capacity to make responsible choices approximately your life and stand firmly behind them, even though others disagree. To grow to be self-determined, people want to accept as true what they may be ready and have autonomy. Additionally, they want to experience that they suit their surroundings or community, this is known as relatedness. It may be especially difficult for human beings in minority corporations to develop self-determination, but it's miles viable. To enhance your self-willpower, think of your tiers of competence, autonomy, and relatedness. Then, decide which of them needs enhancing and what steps you can take. For instance, growing up in more often than not white surroundings left Shane feeling that she didn't belong. But by using connecting with other Hispanic students in college, she strengthened her experience of relatedness. Chapter 4 Recognize when you're taking on an excessive amount of and discover concord by using integrating special factors of your life, by way of her admission, 
and from what we've found out in preceding chapters, Shane Archambo is undoubtedly a kind A persona. Such human beings are commonly determined, hardworking, and highly formidable, effective tendencies that helped Shane define and pursue her goals. However, type A personalities additionally have bad traits, one being that they locate it difficult to delegate. This trait was fully displayed when Shane's circle of relatives moved into a newly built residence. No matter the pregnancy, Shane did the landscaping, decorating, and the entirety else vital to make the residence a domestic. At this point, she obtained some recommendations that applied to her home life and her career. Watching her achieve this a great deal inside the new house, Shane's mother suggested she delegate a number of the obligations. The act of delegating now is not the most effective freeze-up time at home. It also enables people to flow up in agencies. As Shane puts it, the higher American corporation doesn't get there due to the fact they can single-handedly do the entirety. They're promoted for their ability to direct and encourage different human beings to do the specified paintings. In addition to boosting professional potentialities, delegating and taking on less is likewise right for ordinary nicely being. Shane learned this the hard way whilst juggling work, a packed social calendar, and raising two young youngsters. The stress from these kinds of obligations left Shane depressed and eventually led her to therapy, in which she located the significance of prioritizing herself as she climbed the company ladder. Shane began workout, which benefited her thoughts in addition to reframe. She found out to be realistic about her capacity to assist others and started out announcing no to requests. And she or he additionally started out asking herself what she certainly had to attention to from sooner or later to the next. There's one more element that helped Shane get higher cope with her paintings and private existence, and that's the idea of labor life integration. Not like work-life stability, which shows that work and life can, and ought to, be equally prioritized, work existence integration permits people to prioritize different things at exceptional times. It also encourages creativity and getting a couple of matters accomplished in a single cross. For example, whilst Shane struggled to locate time for her buddies, she began inviting them to exercise with her. Chapter 5 Be vocal approximately what you need profession-wise, and if something blocks your development, discover a way around it. While mastering delegating and grasping painting's existence integration, Shane still had her eyes fixed on the touchdown of an executive role. She joined Citigroup after graduating, her purpose become to eventually lead the corporation. After mastering that most of Citigroup's executives had commenced in sales, one control revel in, after which grew to be executives, Shane planned to do the equal, and he or she wanted to do it using 30. But as that age approached, her boss time and again insisted there weren't any control opportunities, this is known as a movement. Shane lined up a few interviews and become soon provided with an advertising supervisor position somewhere else. So as a way to maintain Shane, a top performer, her manager Speedy organized the promotion she'd wanted. By using going out to find an opportunity as opposed to waiting for someone handy her, Shane changed into guidance her profession inside the course she wanted. Every other tactic she used at numerous points in her professional journey changed into making actually anyone privy to her goals and intentions. You in no way recognize who has the electricity or connections to make matters take place. By using broadcasting your intentions, you up the possibilities of locating possibilities. And you additionally make sure that you're not held returned because data isn't surpassed. Shane skilled this when it turned time for the following step in her plan, becoming a department supervisor. Despite sharing those objectives with her direct supervisor, she wasn't getting promoted. So Shane spoke to the manager above hers. The verbal exchange found out that there had been relevant positions outside her place, however, no one had communicated the fact that she become inclined to relocate. When the manager discovered this, Shane was given her promotion, a few years after becoming a department manager. Shane reached the government degree at Citigroup, however, she in no way advanced similarly. However, she did examine every other important lesson in career management, if something blocks your manner, go around it. 
Shane started out noticing that she wasn't getting her truthful dues at Citigroup. As an example, even though she turned into a high performer, whilst Citigroup's executive met with executives in Shane's area, she wasn't invited. Even worse, she earned less than her colleagues. All this indicated that Shane could never become an executive at Citigroup, so she resigned and looked for a unique company at which to pursue that goal. Chapter 6 To grow your opportunities, stay bendy and be inclined to take a few risks. Shelley's decision to move around limitations led her to tech startups in the late 1980s. Tech become emerging as the subsequent large component, and absolutely everyone wanted in. To begin with, her experience made finding a brand new position clean. She joined an internet provider issuer before later shifting to an internet site organization, in which she became a government vice president. Matters had been going properly until the inventory market crashed. The Internet Site Corporation shrank notably, forcing Shane to are seeking new opportunities. She felt prepared to ultimately end up an executive, however, the crash meant that tech startups changed into full of people looking for paintings. Plus, as a Hispanic female, Shane didn't seem like your traditional tech executive. However, this didn't mean she didn't stand a risk. Moving closer to achievement frequently calls for a little flexibility. For Shane, this was supposed to adjust what she became seeking out. Through studies and conversations with individuals who'd been in tech startups longer, Shane accrued that she wouldn't get hired as an executive at a top-ranking business enterprise. There were without a doubt too many different applicants with extra enterprise experience. However, Shane also knew that she had the capabilities to assist a smaller, much less promising company prevail, and that doing so might boost her credibility. This is how Shane wound up applying for the executive position at AppMail, a company that became, in her words, very broken but nicely related, with plenty of capacity. And it paid off. She got the activity, and over 10 years, she transformed struggling AppMail into Barrett's, an award-winning software program answers enterprise, now, many could say becoming a member of a floundering employer in hopes of turning it around is far too risky. But risks performed a massive position in Shane's achievement. Being bold, in lifestyles and work, involves taking dangers. Heading off them may additionally sense safer, but it also limits possibilities for rewards. To show dangers into rewards, it helps to have a guide. Shane had this in her circle of relatives, her cheerleaders, and her accomplice. This allowed her to take dangers, understanding she should constantly ask for help. Another element that allows risk-taking is developing self-assurance and resilience, which takes place whilst human beings time and again embrace hazards. The resulting successes teach them that they're successful, whilst failure demonstrates that they can always arise again, last, whilst taking into consideration risks, it's useful to weigh the fears against the value of the opportunity. Shane's technique is to recall the capacity rewards, after which asks herself if she will stay with the worst-case scenario. If the answer is sure, she takes the sore, unapologetically ambitious, take risks, break barriers, and create success on your terms by Shane Archambo Book Review.